And what took it bad to be bad for good And that bad mean it bad And that bad mean it good I I've gotten your emails, I've gotten your text, I've been I've gotten the tags. Okay. I will talk about everything is going to be all white. This disaster of a trailer and subsequent show that has been released on Showtime, which has been up, downloaded to oblivion and beyond. Now, the reason the title of this video is what it is, is because those who think like this tend to see any form of decency as being white. Oh, you want to be a nice human being? You act in white. So thusly, God, I do hope everything's going to be all white <laughs> by your standards, by your metrics. So with that being said, let's jump into this. <laughs> most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim <laughs> guys this is amanda seals now first and foremost i done told y'all about listening to women in alphabeticals but this one in particular this is who you decide to kick off this uh trailer with showtime because i've done videos on this broad she is crazier crazier than a sack full of cats and this is who we're supposed to take seriously in, in this quote unquote documentary. That word has lost all meaning, hasn't it? Continue. Oh, how white people always want to play victim, guys. She was sitting there crying in the one video I did. And if memory serves me correctly, there was also altercation with her and the people at that TV show, that terrible TV show, Insecure, and that Issa Rae chick. Like, sweetheart, come on. All right, sure, sure, sure. You 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 kick white people's backs in. What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. <clears throat> okay, first and foremost, because that's, uh, uh, ma'am, Amanda, Amanda, you're still here. Okay, so when you sit there and say kill us, I mean, who are you specifically talking about? No, 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 no. Ain't no kill us. You're still here. And that is, it, it, and thus, and it, it's so damn infuriating that these, this is the same BLM grift that we've now uh, come to find out has been just going buck wild when it comes to that, uh, to, to, to the money that they raised and the spending habits of that leadership. But all, by all means, yeah, 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 when they kill quote unquote, us you aren't you you're half white you're half right white you like diana ross okay let's keep going they, you know when they kill us oh. what is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it constructed around whiteness or constructed around our laws and a lot of the uh because like when they when they sit here talk about whiteness right uh, like i said they, it's it's decency or or it's just, you know, it's this pure evil one, I will have you. It's this modus operandi, as if there weren't plenty of people of all colors, you know, saying participating in the uh, participating in the um, the truly predatory, predatory uh, aspects of capitalism and everything that we've built here. But yeah, here comes a new jam. Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. Oh, Linda Saussure. Linda saw sore. I remember. Oh no 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 no! no. You remember? Like th this is just full. This is just. Hold on. Who I am has been distorted. Yeah, yeah. This is just full of all of the usual suspects that we've been over on this channel a dozen times. It's one of the reasons why. I kind of find everything taking place right now so boring because we've covered all of this. We know who the bad guys are. We know who shouldn't be taken seriously. And clearly, no one involved with this should be at all. This is all comes from this era of Obama political uh, uh, po po political celebrity and shit. And her, um, the Tamika Mallory broad, like, and it's a bunch of black chicks and, and or, you know what I'm saying, bl women of color who have who really have been the driving force for a lot of the um 
a lot of the current mayhem in which uh, we as a nation find ourselves. But yeah, by all means. Or criminalize. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> Of course they're going to sit there and spread that lie. Of course they're going to sit here and spread this lie. I'm not going to say the lie, but we know what the lie is, all right? There are people who are sitting in prisons right in the, like, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this guy, uh, he, he might still be sitting in a prison. I'm not sure. I'm Like, I know some folks have been um, prosecuted, or not, not prosecuted, but, you know, uh, have uh, gone through what they have had to go through at the federal level. But either ways, there are people who are still sitting in cells. And yet here you are sitting there just claiming, oh, my goodness, like they tried to take over this country that you seriously have zero appreciation for, nor genuine, real grass, genuine, real ties to. You get what I'm saying? Patriots, you're ridiculous. One of the definitions of American whiteness is... So you saw that, right? Like you saw how they sat there and took like, you know, like white pride things and uh, the, the Confederate and, and a truck with a Confederate flag and slapped it right next to Trump, who, as we bore witness to, did everything in his power. Like, honestly, his willingness to like overextend himself to show how unracist he was, was a gigantic detriment. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but why do you feel in 2020 you have to say that as you sit there in a very nice, uh, in a very nice little get up there? You know, like, I mean, sir, like this is by all means, this is America. Go, 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 go out, go forth and make uh, and make of it whatever you will. And you you're doing that. You, you Amanda, everybody, Linda, Sassor, you're all doing it. My problem is, is that you're doing it to needle. You're doing this to like, oh yeah, con to continue to throw more fire on, like to, 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 to not let the embers of, you know, true racism, uh, burn and die. No, 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 no. And that, that's where we have a problem. Okay. That's where we have an issue. You're a hundred percent right. You are no one's property, sir. And if you've, if, if you have ever spent a day of your life in chains, Sucks for you, but um, you know that wasn't the case for all of us. Should white people today feel any responsibility for slavery? No, no, not at all. Same way, I don't feel any resentment for towards slavery because I didn't go through it. I've actually been fortunate enough to live a pretty fantastic life. I've been able to go all across this country unabated. You know, like nobody stopped me from doing anything I've ever really wanted to do. So it would be disingenuous of me to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, what? The white man done kept his neck on my foot. No, no. Any shortcomings I have, any problems that, you know, I've encountered have come from my own uh, from my own doing, from my own actions. No one else's. It's called responsibility. It's called accountability. And it's called not being a fucking victim. And this shit is victim personified this is just victim meant this, this is nothing more than to, to than to convince uh people who want to blame everyone else for their problems that yeah there is someone or some group of people to blame for your problems not here not in the states you guys are full of shit <laughs> hell yeah white jesus or black jesus jesus was not white <laughs> Jesus, whatever you want him to be. If you want your Jesus to be Puerto Rican, if you if you like, you want your Jesus to look exactly like you. By all means, go ahead, have at it there, champ. It, 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 like it, stop. Like this, it, it's 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 so it's such weak sauce. Geography. Ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, but the people who drew that was their vision of Jesus. The people who created those, uh, like you know, ancient at the at this point, um. What are, what, what are those things called? The glass panes. Like, what are they called? Let me know in the comments. But, the, like, the, okay, that's that's their depiction. I've seen black depi depictions. I've seen Arab depictions because that it, it all did take place in the Middle East. If, you know, hist if we're to believe science and history. So, you know, it is what it is. Your, your Jesus is just like your Santa. You it, He can be whatever you want. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as Native people, the end of the world already happened. Oh, but we ain't the same damn thing, champ.
No, oh, no. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, okay, I thought this was uh, like about. Uh, no, you know, it's not. It's anti-white. It's not full-on blackness. But it's, so, thusly, this is that Crayola cabal trying to like. You have to group everybody in together because ultimately, in 2020, nobody's individual uh, arguments can stand on their own. Like multiple times. Symbols and monuments. These are mementos of race. They're history. They are history. My dad watched Dukes of Hazard, General Lee, right? If that was the name of the car, and a Confederate flag on the top. That's from South Carolina. They throw flag, Confederate flags around all the damn time. It, 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 it's a part of their history, the same way that weirdo Pan Africans like throw around the African flag, or you know Haitians or Jamaicans or anybody. Everybody is allowed to fly a flag in the United States. It's all good. Why? You, but you want to see here and point this one, this specific one out, particularly when. You know, when it comes to the, like, we're talking about a battle between brothers. We're talking about a battle between countrymen. So who are we generations later to sit there and be like, oh yeah, that needs to come down. Nah, bro, they put it up there for, to, 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 to honor their history. By all means, enjoy. I ain't got to see it. I ain't even in, I, like, I, 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 trust, I ain't got to see that shit. I got to see that weak ass George Floyd statue more than I got to see anything that they got up in West Bumblefuck, West Virginia. Bring that statue back. TCBY yogurt or something everybody can get behind. <laughs> the truth has to be told about his women in alphabeticals, boys. Women in alphabeticals. Never to be taken seriously. Uh, you know, let's uh, let, let's let this run out. From the POC POV. To make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There's always hope. You know, saying we don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. Okay. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. She fine. Well, I mean, we can we can x out all this uh, all this stuff. That that's all good. When I will have you, but she uh, can get. I think we found a, a pretty good place to wrap this one up, boys. Me and my fantastic time, and I'm really good at this. Here's the thing, guys. There's slavery that's taking place this very second in Libya, and uh, Obama himself is a huge part of the reason why that's taking place. Now, if you guys really give so much of a shit about slavery, then I've made this offer on several occasions. By all means, let's go. Right now. My comment section's right there. It's always open. Let's go. But no, you have zero interest in that. So how about you shut the fuck up and appreciate what that what that history has been able to garner you instead of acting like a bunch of bitches. Oh my goodness, I cry about slavery, something I never even went through. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. <laughs> My goodness, it's a wild place, y'all. So, I mean, we was gonna sit here and talk like I, I'm half white, but I was gonna talk like some runaway slaves. Jeez, let's let's hold on, you know, let's screw this noise. Let's get back on over the uh, oh, oh ooh, okay, hold on, okay, uh, let's see. Not bad, not bad, no, no, okay, okay, yeah, 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 that, that one worked, that one kind of worked too, I right, definitely, definitely, um, uh, you know what, yeah, 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 all, all it'll take a little bit, some time on the, um, because she ain't got the cankle thing going on, so all it would take is a little bit of time on the, um, on a treadmill, but what we gonna do, boys, is we gonna bring it right back to, uh, old girl. There we go, there we go, she found us out, yeah, she found us out, so, yeah, we gonna leave it here. Anyways, with that being said, all the internet stuff. If you like it, tell us how to like this, like, go ahead, do that too, nobody's scared of you, sub, and you have a voice and you wanna get videos like this? Fingers crossed, boys. I can get them to you every day from here on now. Um, uh, like, if you like it, sub, share, speak. All the uh, Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm not even feeling like going through the entire spiel again. Because, like, yeah, I'm a little caught off guard. Like, oh, she is a bad D with a capital D. Which I would love to uh, present to this. Uh, like, I mean, cause, like, it's like they all super dark. But, like, I mean, how many shades of light skin are you, sweetie? <laughs>
<laughs> it's sort of like the the Cosby show, right? Where it's like, yo, really? Claire and Cleef, Cliff Huxtable made Denise, made super bright, light-skinned Denise? All right, yeah, sure. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.